Relive the nostalgia of PlayStation 1, PS1, gaming directly on your Android phone. Thanks to advancements in technology, you can now play classic PS1 games like Final Fantasy VII, Crash Bandicoot, or Tekken 3 using powerful emulators designed for Android. With a few simple steps, you can set up an emulator, load your favorite PS1 games, and enjoy smooth gaming right from your mobile device. This guide will walk you through everything you need to know, from downloading a reliable PS1 emulator to setting up your favorite games. Whether you're grabbing an emulator from the Google Play Store or manually installing files, the process is straightforward and accessible to all Android users. There are two methods of installing PS1 emulators on your phone, now let's dive in and bring your favorite retro games back to life on your Android phone. You will first need to download a PlayStation 1 emulator to run PS1 games. Two of the most popular emulators for Android are EPSA and FPSE. Method 1, using the Google Play Store. But for this tutorial we're gonna using EPSA PS1 emulators. EPSA is one of the most reliable and popular PS1 emulators for Android. To install EPSA open the Google Play Store on your Android phone. Search for EPSA. Tap install to download and install the app. Step 2. Download PS1 Game ISOs. You'll need to legally own the game or back up your own PS1 discs. ISO, BIN, or IMG files are the most common formats for PS1 games. There are two options to download a game. Number 1. Back up your PS1 games. If you have a PS1 disc, you can rip the game files using a PC, using software like IMG Burn, and save them in ISO or BIN format. Number 2. Download PS1 games online, you can also find PS1 game ISOs online, but you must ensure that you are legally allowed to download the game, owning the physical copy is a must. Websites like Emu Paradise, CoolROM, and Aramis Mania host old PS1 game files. Make sure to download them to your Android phone. When you finish downloading a game that comes as a zipped file, you need to unzip or extract the file using a dedicated program like WinRAR, 7-Zip or Zarchiver like the one that I used to access the actual game files and be able to play it. Tip, save these game files in a specific folder for easy access. For example, you can create a folder called PS1 Games or PSX in your phone storage. PS1 emulators require a BIOS file to work. 
Search online for PlayStation BIOS file, the most common file is scph1001.bin. Download and place the BIOS in a folder on your phone, typically under slash EPSA slash BIOS slash. Load your game. Tap Run Game from the main menu. Method 2, using APK files, alternative installation. Step 1, download APK and BIOS files, if you cannot find the emulator on the Play Store or prefer an alternative method, you can download the emulator directly from a website and install it manually. Go to a trusted APK website like APK Mirror or APK Pure. Download the APK and save it to your device. Install the EPSA APK, open the downloaded APK file and follow the prompts to install it. Copy the downloaded BIOS file, such as scph1001.bin, into the slash epsa slash BIOS slash directory, launch the emulator and configure it as described earlier. Load your game. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your Android phone to play PlayStation 1 games. Whether you're revisiting classics or discovering hidden gems, you now have the freedom to carry your favorite PS1 titles wherever you go. With the emulator and games installed, you can customize your experience with on-screen controls or even enhance it with a Bluetooth controller for a true console-like feel. Remember to explore the emulator's features, like save states, cheat codes, and graphics options, to optimize your gaming experience. 
Most importantly, ensure you're using legal game copies and BIOS files to stay within the law. Now, it's time to dive into those nostalgic worlds, defeat final bosses, and relive the memories of one of gaming's golden eras. Enjoy your retro gaming adventure, and happy playing! Thank you. 